Royal biographer Angela Levin recently discussed Meghan Markle's apparent feelings of insecurity in light of a comparison between her jam sales and those of King Charles. Levin joined Eamon Holmes and Isabel Webster on GB News to delve into the matter. The conversation revolved around the surge in sales of the monarch's Highgrove organic strawberry preserve following Meghan's soft launch of a similar product. Levin highlighted a potential challenge for Meghan's product, suggesting that sourcing ingredients from her own garden might limit its availability. She questioned the scale of Meghan's strawberry production, implying that it might not meet the demand. Levin emphasized the contrast between Meghan's hands-on approach and the more distant sourcing process of King Charles's jam, suggesting that this difference might affect consumer perception. The discussion hinted at underlying tensions, with Levin suggesting that Meghan might feel slighted by the popularity of King Charles's jam. She pointed out that while King Charles's proceeds go to charity, Meghan stands to benefit directly from her brand's success. Levin speculated that consumers might prefer King Charles's product, viewing it as trendier or more prestigious than Meghan's offering. The conversation shed light on Meghan's marketing strategy, noting that she had sent her limited edition strawberry jam to friends ahead of the formal launch of her brand, American Riviera Orchard. Fashion designer Tracy Robbins was among those who received the Duchess's jam and shared images of it, contributing to its visibility. Meghan's choice to associate her product with luxury, as seen in the presentation with a basket of lemons, reflects her branding efforts. Overall, the discussion on GB News underscored the complexities of royal branding and the nuances of consumer perception. Meghan's foray into the jam market highlights not only her entrepreneurial spirit but also the challenges of competing in a space traditionally associated with the monarchy. The comparison with King Charles's jam sales serves as a backdrop for examining broader themes of identity, tradition, and modernization within the royal family.